Hi everyone, I'm Rustam Lawyer, CEO at Ognito, and welcome to the fourth episode of Rad Voice, where we discuss perspectives from the radiology community. Today we have a very interesting topic where we're discussing mobility uh, and how that's going to impact radiology. As many of you may know, India is the fastest growing smartphone market in the world with over 500 million smartphone users. And this is actually estimated to double by 2022. So we clearly love mobility. And uh, today we have a very special guest, Dr. Shailendra Mansoor, who's a good friend. And uh, he's the owner of Delta Diagnostics as well, um, to talk about the subject. So welcome, Dr. Shailendra. Good evening, Rushtan. Good evening, everybody. And thank you for inviting me. Great having you on Rad Voice, sir. So, doctor, you know, in... Um, Today's radiology workflow, I mean, are you seeing a a growing need for mobility? Yeah, most certainly. I see the growing uh, need for mobility in radiology workflow. Uh, The mantra saying define and refine uh, couldn't have been more apt for the changing times. Hmm. Uh, When we look at this uh, from three different perspectives, one would be the patient's perspective, wherein uh, with the handheld device, they're in a position to uh, order a particular or schedule a particular study or examination from the comforts of their home or office or wherever there is. Yeah. And they don't have to come all the way to a diagnostic center just to you know, seek an appointment. So that, that's really going to go a long way. Uh, yeah. Mobility is going to give a lot of uh, advantage to the patients. And talking about um, the uh, diagnostics perspective, the diagnostic center's perspective, we are able to better manage our time in terms of scheduling patients from different uh, doctors and referring uh, places. So uh, we will be able to also not only procure the images, we should be able to send it across various platforms, you know, and also in cases of emergency, you know, we could always send the images to a doctor who is off duty and off the center or off site. So that's a, a, a big, Thing. So mobility is definitely going to help that. And from a radiologist perspective, it gives uh, a radiologist that much more um, confidence in saying that I don't have to be available on site all the time. Uh, all I need to do is have a handy mobile and I could still do justice to the patients and in emergency situations. Oh. So I definitely see a growing role of mobility in radiology work. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in fact, we've we've spoken about it quite a bit in the past and stuff. Um, but, you know, our research, uh, we've seen, uh, you know, an increasing sort of number of doctors who are looking for, you know, these mobility and uh, the sort of flexibility that, that this will bring. But there's also a concern about like clinical risk, you know, when you're reading a report on a phone. So, I mean, I wanted to get your thoughts on that as well. Yeah, absolutely. You're right in stating the fact that more and more doctors are comfortable in viewing images and patient-related data and on their handheld devices. Mm. And there's also a growing temptation uh, amongst radiologists like me, wherein uh, you know, I, to be able to even re- report or send the report back in, in the same platform, you know, of sort of a seamless integration of viewing and being able to send the report along at the same time for the same channel. Yeah. And I'm sure Many vendors are up for uh, you know grabbing this opportunity, but having said this, the primary concern which remains is or is of a challenge is the patient's um, privacy or the safety and security of the patient's information. So, mm-hmm. as a healthcare provider or to the community which we belong to, if we are able to safeguard that, there's it, nothing is more important than safeguarding the patient's information. Um, I do feel there's a genuine uh, space of concern in that aspect, like most of us believe in. Whenever there's more mobility, the chances of patients' privacy being up for grabs Mm. increases. However, since um, I've been working with you and your team at Agnito, I'm sure under your command and uh, leadership, uh, you guys will spare no efforts, you know, to tackle this challenge. It's a very important challenge and bring about a desirable solution you know, of uh, wherein um, you know preventing misuse and abuse of patient information can be taken care of and i hope you guys yeah, um, no. bring about a solution in that aspect yeah no i mean we're certainly working on it and you know the whole uh, security aspect has been something that you know we've been building systems for over the years i mean we've been doing this now for 20 years 
and uh, it's really core to the business. But uh, yes. yeah, thank you for that. And we'll be getting a solution, you know, with the mobility side very soon. Over yes. to you as well. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Looking so, and looking forward to that. Yeah. 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 So, um, doctor, you know, uh, I also wanted to sort of get a perspective on, you know, when you're reading these scans, I mean, is it more efficient to read certain types of scans on a mobile? Um, and are there scans that are not very efficient um, to read? In my personal experience, you know, quick reads and reportings of emergency scans or acute cases can be handled on a, a handheld device. And that's a big plus mark or a takeaway for me. Yeah. Although mobile platforms are generally or conventionally not used for primary interpretation, because uh, this, although there's potential to access unlimited examinations, but uh, to use it as a primary source of uh, interpretation as of now, be an uncalled for. But however, um, you know, the downfall of mobile or handheld devices would be, you know, uh, interactions requiring complicated manipulations and maneuvers. So uh, that would be a, a limiting factor on handheld devices as of now, sure. as far as I see. But one way of overcoming such a problem would be to kind of see only or review or, or visualize only the pre-prepared or pre-programmed images uh, yeah. on your handheld devices from the center itself. So in that way, we can do justice to the handheld device in trying to look forward for or looking at the emergency cases and also trying to see for a quick second opinion. But if it's going to be used primarily as a, um, you know, a diagnostic tool, I think as of now, it would be an uncalled for. Uh, yeah. Concern. Yeah. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. That definitely makes a lot of sense. You know, another sort of interesting aspect to this, uh, you know, which I wanted to ask you was that do you see any sort of new innovations coming in this space in mobility and stuff, uh, which will help reaching, you know, high quality diagnostics to the interiors uh, parts of the country as well, uh, you know, opposed to, you know, what you're getting in just metro cities and stuff? Um, you know, what's your view on that? Yeah, uh, two-way communication between image uh, and data generator and the image reader uh, in the form of a report for acute emergency cases uh, mm -hmm. is the holy grail, uh, which is being achieved as we speak. And it's only going to improve as we go forward. Yeah. Uh, smart uh, handheld devices and mobile devices and internet have penetrated deeper portions of the country. And so should be our ability to uh, reach the applications or the applications to reach them so that justice can be done in terms of uh, our ability to provide the service. Uh, going forward, you know, sec seeking second opinions from a remote place to that of a metro and vice versa, an exchange of ideas between radiologists and peer review groups and discussions mm -hmm. and debates are going to be the thing which we have to really look forward to. And I hope uh, going forward, these innovations are going to come in and are going to be put to use and, you know, uh, good value added perspective can be brought into this. Yeah. I think it's very important, you know, as a community, we've got to sort of work together to really bring the cost down and, Absolutely. you know, be able to get these type of innovations out, uh, you know, to the remotest parts of, of the country. So, yes. yeah. Yes. So, thank you. I mean, this really does bring us to the end of our chat. And thank you so much, Dr. Shailendra, for giving us this time, but most importantly, for providing such a great uh, service uh, you know, in the radiology market. So, thank you. Thank you, Roshan. Thank you for having me. Good evening, guys. Sure. Thank you. So, thank you everyone for watching this. And if you have any questions um, you'd like to ask Dr. Shailendra or the Ognito team, please leave your comments below. And um, if you do want to sort of um, get any um, information on Ognito, uh, please visit our website or you can also leave a comment and someone will get in touch with you. Thank you very much.